The Spartans are already there. I need to meet Anna at the port and plan our takeover of the caravan. If you find any mods for your weapons, like silencers and stuff, try attaching them right there. The pack has all the tools for that. So, are you ready for that final push? Good luck. Wow, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind. Artyom, we are in position, awaiting orders. Artyom, I see you. Come up here on the crane.
Look, you should rest up there till nightfall. I'll wait for you down here.
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! <laughs> Great job, Artur! So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that plot, all right. Hurra! Man your stations, weigh anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, we're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> Whoa! You're so funny! Jackass, bullet. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first wins! Break a leg! The Aurora is quietly moving into position. We'll be ready to act on your signal. Roger that, sir. We're on it. Over. Just like Father Salandias foretold. Who arrived? Satan slaves! It's like you missed the morning service. Well, I didn't. One day you are going to get sent to fight. <laughs>
We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything... Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. Come on, wake up. I'm so sorry about Duke. He was just a boy, really. He kept asking me for advice on how to become more attractive to a girl he knew. What to say to her. He couldn't wait to come back to her, proudly wearing scars and medals. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom? When you climbed those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? 
A home for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Though, well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, isn't this our honeymoon trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. Alyosha keeps telling everyone Duke could have jumped off the bridge in time. The others are also holding well, but I... I just unraveled. Of course, I had friends die before. He wasn't looking for death, Duke. He did volunteer for the most dangerous missions, but didn't expect to die. He was looking up to step on. Dad. You. Especially you. And he didn't die for nothing, did he? He wanted us to get there, to Yamantau. He wanted us to tell them about Moscow. How we survived there and still haven't given up. How we've been hiding it for so long. But when I think of it being you, and not even knowing for sure, I'd never be able to live through it. So, you think I should just let it all out? I don't think that would make me feel better. I've been thinking, back home, we buried our friends at home, and avenged them at home. That home and life there sucked. We were kept there with chains. No, even worse, with lies. And now we are looking for a new home. But here, it's someone else's home, and we are not invited. Right. I've got to get myself under control. Go. Dad wanted to see you. There's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits. But I'll have to, and soon. Then it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Duke's plate carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he, well, he just kept joking about it. <clears throat> what was that? Well, I'll be working here from now on. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. A oh, smoke break. That's good. This is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the colonel, Duke. That guy did a swell job on that bridge. 
He was a great guy. May he rest in peace. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay the debt back, okay? So, uh, I have stuff to do, too. You guys are fast to break here, but now you expedient. Well, guys, the Duke's memory. Uh, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Look, stop with this funeral mood. It is Duke we are talking about. Do you recall how he came back from the library? <laughs> Same thing here. Well, yeah, that time he pulled a fast one on us. We had the drinks ready. Sam said everything. Was a good speech, too. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Uh, this is Ark. Uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes. Yes, I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, Emelikov? Simply capital. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, the situation is dire, and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the special forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, I see. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. 
How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now! Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir! Great! Let's go! Looks like a hundred to me. Lucky. Your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. <laughs> This is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee in red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back, huh? Wait. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. speech. Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. 
and I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Comrade Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. <coughs> Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of I'll hers. tie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you ready! Long Burn this time to ashes! Long time since the dirty bones Now we'll be fought again! Good. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Elysium. Here. Colonel, sir. I think that's enough. Thank you, sir. But it is not. We have to give it. But first, we must find Anna. I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. Stop the main elevator up! Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Your floor, Artyom.
not meat! Lots of meat!
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just free! Yes, yes! Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Okay, Artyom found me. than I caught on the Volga. And that's so empty as well. But no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do I'll now? I'll be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian 1, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision <laughs> together. Sir, to interrupt him. It's getting quite hot in here. <clears throat> Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't.
Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs 